Hello everybody! Welcome to the Pasta Queen channel. Today I'm making one of my most viral recipes with lemon and ricotta, but we are adding a secret ingredient. Before I tell you, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you know a moment a video comes out. Let's get right into it. Today we've got this amazing pasta which is called Colonne Pompeii, the Pompeian Columns. This is like a giant fusillo that's going to be perfect to add the sauce. We've got parmigiano, ricotta, lemons, garlic, almonds, and extra virgin olive oil with a sprinkle of basil on top. I'm going to show you first how easy this 15 minutes no cook sauce recipe is first thing first you're going to put your water to boil so your pasta water is boiling by the time you actually put your pasta in it takes 12 minutes to cook your sauce will be ready and it needs absolutely zero cooking the thing i want to prepare is not even one ingredient it's a surprise uh, paste sauce we are creating a paste pesto with the lemon peels. So get yourself a paring knife. We're gonna start by literally just getting the yellow part of the peel. You definitely do not want to add that white part to it. So it's gonna take, you can do it with a paring knife or with a, you know, like a, a zester or even a potato peeler, to be honest. But what you're trying to do is literally cut the peel where only the essential oils are going to be grabbed and not the white bitter part of the lemon. Okay, you see, I wanna show you, it's literally just the yellow part. It's where all the essential oils of the lemon. Here, we're using the essence. Let's start with the food processor. Prepare your clove. You're gonna stick everything in the food processor together. Lemon peel, garlic cloves. Then we've got the parmigiano. Got your garlic cloves right here. Perfect. I can already taste it. It's so delicate, but also rich of flavor with the parmigiano, the ricotta, that it's kind of like, feathery, airy, it's, uh, it's gonna be incredible. Now, parmigiano reggiano. You know, you're gonna use the food processor, just chop it into little pieces, okay? Like little cubes of parmigiano, perfect. Then you've got your almonds, extra virgin olive oil. You're gonna want a pinch of salt and the ricotta cheese. Let's get going. Lemon peels. Parmigiano chunks. Garlic. Almonds. Anything left on the board goes in. Now, here, we're gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Remember, start slow, you can always add later we let it grind up into a paste before we add the ricotta cheese. Okay, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil extra. Get a spatula if anything is left on the sides, okay? I toss everything towards the center of the food processor. What I'm doing here is creating a paste. Before adding the ricotta, I do not want to whip the ricotta too much. Um, so it's gonna be literally a very light toss a few times with the ricotta, but this has gonna be ground. All the almonds have to be ground. So do this first. Perfetto. We add the ricotta cheese. This is what you've all been waiting for. I know it. Mm. 
pass the water is boiling. Our Neapolitan columns are in. On the package says eight minutes. We are going to always undercook it a little bit. We are not going to be emulsifying in a hot pan, so you do not want to undercook it too much. However, seven minutes, you know what I mean? A little extra crunch. Oh my goodness. Did you see that cream? It's out of this world. This is a showpiece. So you're gonna need a large serving ceramic plate, something you love, something that you're proud of that you wanna bring to the table, uh, but it's a showstopper. This pasta is gorgeous, it's really good, so you want to serve it all at once, like the old nonnas used to do. Stick it in the middle of the table. The pasta is al dente. I'm putting a little bit of this cream at the bottom. Like this. Remember to save the tears of the gods. The pasta water, that's starchy. You might need it. You always need it. It's perfect. All right, now the cream. And now all the cream on top. Feels almost like a dessert pasta, but it's savory with the parmigiano. At this point, you wanna be very gentle. We're going to add a little bit of pasta water. Now, two wooden spoon, gentle. Okay. Lemon slices, three on each side, just like this. Pink peppercorns, sprinkled. One crown of basil. Oh, now this is a showstopper. It's probably one of my best creations of all times. You know how much I'm passionate about lemons. Leave a comment down below if you really obsessed, just like me, on sticking lemons in every possible way in your recipes, okay? So now it's the time to taste it. Mm, mm, mm. This is heavenly. I am begging you to try it. I gotta go and eat the whole thing with my friends. See you next time.